Live from Town Square Towers at the heart of the Jersey Shore. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Get up, get out, do something. Join the conversation. 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I am Phil Brilliant, substituting for Jeremy this morning at 7.09. It is a beautiful 44 degrees outside, cool and crisp, but it will be a high of 60 degrees today. A beautiful day at the Jersey Shore, getting ready for a beautiful weekend at the Jersey Shore. And what happens on early mornings between September and June? Kids get up. Get out and go to school. So this morning we are joined by Joanne D'Anton, who is the director of the Griffin TV and Studio Media Marketing at Donovan Catholic. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Phil. How are you today? Good, good. Thank you very much for joining me this bright and early this morning, but I'm sure this is No, this is okay. We start eight oh five, so I'm at school at seven thirty. And now, so this will this be blasting down the hallways as all the teachers are preparing for the students to come in? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that will be, yes. Uh, I'm hoping. And <laughs> remember, you. this is also, we saved this on YouTube. Oh, do you? Yes. Yeah, so you can take this off of our YouTube channel. Fantastic. And you can share it amongst all the parents, teachers around the world. There you go. You know, because- And our alumni are all over the place, so that'll be a great thing. Thank that you. That is good, because what we want to talk about is we want to talk about- All that is good at Donovan Catholic, all that is good at the campus of St. Joe's. and But I always like to start off with a little bit about the person I'm talking to. There you go. Okay. Okay. So we already talked about you. You're from Bloomfield, New Jersey, but you have migrated south. Yes, I have. I migrated um, 24 years ago, and it was probably the best thing we ever did. I love Tom's River. Um, I was part of St. Joseph's grade school. I have two children. They both went through St. Joseph's grade school. And um, back then it was Monsignor Donovan High School. Yep. Uh, you did ask me, how, yep. do you, how, how often do you spill? I don't spill. It's right. Donovan, Catholic. Donovan Catholic. We have a branding right now program, um, opportunity that's out there. And that's we're branding our school as Donovan Catholic. Yeah, and it's great. I mean, you know, the the switch over, and I think it was, it actually was was went very fast. Yeah, it was. You know what it, the problem was, Phil? We would go to uh, games, and people would say Monsignor. They didn't know how to pronounce it. They didn't know what a Monsignor was. Right. So it was a it was perfect timing, and it's working to our advantage. Right. It's a phenomenal branding campaign. Yeah, and I think we saw also across the state, maybe across the country, a lot of schools had changed, I know, you know, to either the city name or something. So exactly. Donovan Catholic seemed to be the best way to go. So I got to add, Donovan Catholic, Griffin TV. Yes, okay. we have a program at our school where the kids do, it's student produced, um, student directed, and it's two shows, TV shows, one in the morning, which is um, a morning a news format it informs the kids on everything that's going on that day and we have block scheduling I don't know if you know that no um, it's uh, one two flex three four so at flex you have lunch you have class meetings uh, if you need extra help for homework um, all of that stuff happens in flex well in our morning show the kids tell the students everything that's going on for the day for example today we have a pep rally Yay! It's homecoming for us. Oh, big, so big football weekend? Yeah, big football weekend. We're kicking off our homecoming. Um, so we have a pep rally. The kids will know what's going on, what clubs are meeting during Flex. And then in the afternoon, we come back on after Flex, and we do a show, a sports-type show, um, not a magazine format type, where we do our accolades for any of our sports and our athletes. So it's pretty pretty great. And they do it. They produce it. They direct it. So and I just moderate. I run the the show. <laughs> That's cool. That's great. So 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 basically, uh, I guess it's already too late for me. Oh, you know, I can't I can't go back in time. But you have kids It would be something are, you would love to do. They're like the, in the high rising Jeremy Grunnins. There they go. That's what they are. Yeah, the rising Jeremy Grunnins. They, they are out Kevin there. Williams. Kevin That's Williams. Exactly they're out what they there are. and they're learning to get up, get out, and do something in their community, and they're doing it via TV. Yes. And also, what we, um, Donovan Catholic, also strives on service. Um, we have a, a great service program. It's our campus ministry. Mm-hmm. And each grade level, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, have to do, have to do a certain amount of service hours. Well, what we find is that the kids do above and beyond the service hours um, in our community. 
um, I feel that that's great because that also brings it to the next level. When they go off to college, they remember the things. That we plant the seeds, right? and then they go out and they do it later on in life, which is right. great. So we have Donathan Catholic. We'll call them the top tier. Yes. Okay? But you start in St. Joe's. So yes. you can actually be on one campus. Yes, we are. Start from kindergarten yes. and finish your high school career. Amen. We have a K. I look at our school when I'm marketing it. I look at us as a K through 12 campus. We have St. Joe's, which is K through 8. And then our Donovan Catholics goes 9 through 12. So, yes, we look at um, St. Joseph Parish is also on our campus. So it's a beautiful facility. It is. Um, you, but we're tucked in behind Hooper Avenue, so you got to come in and see us. Uh, well, it's pretty funny. So my two guests this morning, so mm-hmm. my first guest was Shall We Dance. Okay. Okay. They're right on. They were on Hooper there. They just recently moved to the Seacourt Pavilion. Okay. But their sign is still there. Mm-hmm. So And then St. Joe's is tucked back. Um, what's the side? What's that side street called? Lexington. Lexington. Okay. Uh-huh. So you you have basically, um, if you are going to make a left turn <laughs> at Hooper Avenue, you cannot miss St. Joe's and Donovan Catholic or Shall We Dance's sign. Exactly. So it, everyone should know where it is. Exactly. You know, because it, it is like the center of town. It's phenomenal, and it's a great environment. Um, our pastor, as you know, he's a, a, a great listener to your sh- to Jeremy's yep. show, um, Father Scott, yep. a great leader, um, he, believes he in, believes in wholly about his both schools right. he supports he has the parish he has the cemetery he has two great a great school and a high school and is doing a phenomenal job uh supports everything we want to do and he's a, commu- he's a community good. man amen you yes, see him he is. everywhere in the community yes you do he supports caregivers uh, uh habitat for humanity wherever there's service he's there to give a help in hand and that's what you need uh, because yeah. if they they believe in you at the top Everything else comes rather easy. Yeah. So let's we'll go back, shift back to Donovan Catholic. Go ahead. So uh, so a day at Donovan Catholic. I know you know my, as I said, my daughter went to high school north. Mm-hmm. We're not going to bash any of the local public schools, but you know one of her biggest complaints always was walking down the hallway, all the kids and everything like that. Yes. Donovan Catholic. We have smaller classes. Yes, we do. We have smaller classes. We have um, we're a hundred percent college prep. We have about 13 AP courses and it's a collegiate scheduling. Um, our performing arts is phenomenal. If I could give a plug there, we're going to have our Mary Poppins is um, going to be our play this uh, fall, November 17th through the 20th. If you could get out there and get out, yep. buy some tickets, that would be great. Um, there's diverse clubs and activities. We have campus ministry. You see, Donovan Catholic has something for every child. And what I'd like to get out the message out there is if you're unhappy anywhere, and our school system's great. But let's let's admit it. Let's agree that right. all of our schools are doing phenomenal jobs. They are. We're here to educate our kids. Yep. But I just want the kid that might not be happy where they are, know that Donovan Catholic is an opportunity is a choice you do have a choice to go to school and come and see us you can shadow a student at our school and that's a great lead and we need to tease as we go to our first commercial break we want to tease open house coming up yes we have that and we also want to tease you said everybody is included and welcome we're going to talk about the fact that not everybody is catholic and you don't have to be catholic to attend so remember join the conversation 732-505-1160 back in a moment Get more Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin at our website, WOBMAM.com. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Good morning. Welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I am Phil Brilliant, substituting for Jeremy. It is 722. Always got to give that call out of the time so that Bob in Lakewood knows what time it is and gets up, gets out, and does something. We're continuing our conversation with Joanne DeAnton, who is the director of the Griffin TV and Studio Media Marketing at Donovan Catholic. And we teased out when we went to break, Open House. Yes, our Open House is Thursday, October 20th. At 7 o'clock, our doors open up, and it's a phenomenal open house. I invite anyone to come, my eighth graders out there, please come over, take a look at us. Um, It's a great um, flash of what is available at Donovan Catholic all in one place. Um, You'll speak to teachers. You'll see various 
uh, coaches, everything is out there. So come on over October 20th and take a look. So 7 to 9 at night, October 20th. And 8th graders, not just your 8th graders no, at St. We'll, Joe. Any 8th no, graders any in the eighth community. Any 8th graders. 7th grade, 8th grade, come on over, take a look. It's a high school opportunity. That's what we're trying to tell you. And I have to believe you probably draw from the greater Tom's River area. Excellent, yes. So your students come from... Our footprint is pretty big, Phil. We go down as far as Tuckard and Little Egg Harbor, oh, okay. and we come all the way up up to Howell, out to Jackson. We, it's a big footprint. We're busing kids from, I think, one, we have one coming from Middletown. Okay. So, I mean, we have a pretty big footprint. And the draw is because this is the best show in town. Um, I believe so. It's uh, the high school is a choice, yeah. and Donovan Catholic is it. We make a difference. You make a difference. That's right. <laughs> I, I heard that a couple times you heard this morning my jingle, from Kevin Donovan Williams. Donovan yes, Catholic, yes, yes. ding ding. It uh, makes a difference. <laughs> and she said she wasn't going to sing on the radio, and we got her to sing. Look at that. That is great. I'm sure they're all going crazy back in the office right now. Oh, my goodness. I hope I have a job when I go back. Uh, I, I can't you should, sing. You should get a raise from that. Thank uh, you, Sarah. You know, but we were um, off when we were at the break, we were talking about the investment in private school. Yes, you and know? it is an investment. Yes, you do have to pay to come to Donovan Catholic. There is a tuition, but... Phil, the way I market our school is that it is an investment in your child's future. Um, we had over twenty-four million dollars in scholarship money for our high, our graduating class last year. That's a lot of money. So and I, I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. Sure. And I don't. And I always That's hate okay. asking a question people may not the, know the answer to. So twenty-four million dollars in scholarships. How many kids did you have graduate? We had. I think the graduating class was 168. So, so every under 200 one, mm-hmm. students, $24 million. Yes. The offer is unbelievable. And yeah. that's the way you have to look at it. Yes, you're paying for the education K through 12, but it's going to pay off on the back end when you have to go to college. It's a heavy nut. I had two kids. I know that what that feels. That, that load is yep. on parents. And there are people that have more than two going to college. My point is invest early and let it pay off for you on the back end. And the rest of the world is your oyster after that. Yeah, as I told you, I had a friend who said exactly that. He had, I think he had five kids. Mm-hmm. Good friend, right? I can't yep. remember how many kids he has. That's okay. uh, five kids. He invested in his high school education because he said – they're going to get into colleges and they're going to get money from colleges. And sure enough, that's what they got. It's, 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 that's, the, that's the model. And that's what we want to shout out to everyone. Like, that's what we're looking for. You want to be able to better yourself on the back end of that college career. That, that, that is great. And I think that's a great lead in as we go to the news. And unfortunately, the news is going to be filled with emails and inappropriate behavior. Amen, but God. when we come back after the news, we want to talk a little bit more about the Shadow the Student program that we have. Thank you. A little bit more about Donovan Catholic and the campus. And then we're going to give Joanne Jeremy Grunin's magic wand to see what she can do to change the sector or the world. Back in a moment. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 at 1310. Good morning. Welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I'm Phil Brilliant, substituting for Jeremy this morning on Friday, October 14th. It is a beautiful day outside to make sure to get up, get out, and do something. Continuing our conversation with Joanne DeAnton, Joanne DeAnton, I said it right, look you at that, did. You did. of uh, the director of uh, marketing, Griffin TV, studio media, a teacher, a wearer of many hats at Donovan Catholic, and uh, it has been very enjoyable this morning as we went to break, and we keep talking through break, so I always forget as to what we talked about in break mm-hmm. and what we talked about on the air, but we want to hit a couple things before we give you that special. Yes. Wand. You got it. So we've been hitting open house. Yes, open house. Reminder, open house is October 20th, this Thursday from 7 to 9. You can come out, any student, and shadow a student at Donovan and be a Griffin for the day. You can walk the classroom. You go to the classes. You enjoy a day at Donovan Catholic. Um, I also want to mention, if I could throw out there, our entrance exam is November 5th at 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, You can get all of this information, by the way, on our website at www.donovancatholic.org. 
Is there any other ways? Is there a phone number? Uh, yes, you can call our main office, 732-349-8801. If you want to talk to me, it's extension 2446. I got to imagine everybody wants to talk to Joanne. She has all the energy of the morning here in the studio. Thank you, Phil. And so we're talking about you. Um, Can I just throw throw one more thing out there before you You throw throw in the direction? There you go. I have a Harvest Gift Auction that is run by our our PTA, our fabulous PTA, and that is November 10th. It's our eighth annual. So please, like, if you could support any of our events, that would be great. And again, all tickets can be purchased on our web, go on our website, and you can find out all of our information. And that's uh, November 10th. It's at the Clarion Hotel and Convention Center here in Tom's River. It starts at 5 o'clock. Yes, it does. And it's $40 a ticket to get in, and you can buy tickets on the website. Yes, it is. And And it supports our fabulous school. That is great. So I'm a parent in Tom's River, a parent in the local area. I'm interested in going to open house. Um, Everybody's welcome at Donovan Catholic. Everyone is welcome at Donovan Catholic. A, you can register online so you get that process moving quickly. You can go right to our website and register for the open house. Um, but yes, everyone is welcome. It doesn't matter your background. You were talking to me earlier. I'm Jewish. Can I still come to Donovan Catholic? Absolutely. All students are welcome at our family. That, that is fantastic. And I think Donovan a, Catholic is a family. Right. I think that's a lot of things people don't know. They, the, the Catholic school, they think they have to be Catholic to go. Absolutely not. You welcome everybody. We welcome everyone in our home. Everyone. Did we talk about homecoming? No, I'll, I'll go right to it. Okay. Homecoming starts. I'm glad you brought I, that up. I knew it was in my head. Exactly. Homecoming starts today. We start our homecoming festivities did you know, Phil, we have a field hockey team at Donovan? This is our first year. I have heard that. Did well, you they're any- doing phenomenal, and our field hockey team opens up our homecoming weekend today against Lakewood at 4 o'clock. Then our homecoming game is against St. Joe's Metuchen at 6.30 kickoff, but we have at 6 o'clock our alumni are all welcome back. So if you're out there, alumni, come back to Donovan Catholic um, for an unbelievable uh, fellowship upstairs in our lecture hall. Okay. So we we have our school dance is Saturday, and our homecoming weekend is this weekend. That's great. That's phenomenal. I think it's always it's always great for. I mean, actually, I mentioned before off the air this is Rutgers homecoming weekend. Yeah. So I'm going to be heading up to Rutgers, but I think high school homecoming is it's different. It's, it's a, a different, family. It's Donovan a family. Catholic it's, is a family. People come back and they they want to tell their story, what they did when they were walking those halls. We open up our school for people to walk through the halls, reminisce, think about the times when they were in school, and it's an excellent it's an excellent weekend for I like, us. I like the generations where you have multiple generations. We have parents many and generations at Donovan. Many. Yeah. And uh, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. As I said before, Donovan Catholic, it makes a difference. Makes we a, are a family. It makes a difference. You love, love that. that tagline, you love right? That. And the jingle going with it. So with that, a perfect opportunity as the fairy dust falls from the studio ceiling and we hand you Jeremy's magic wand that you can use to change the world, to wow. change Donovan Catholic, to change St. Joe's. You can use it for anything you'd want to do, unlimited resources, unlimited money, no worries. What would you do with Jeremy Grunin's magic wand? Wow. Okay, I guess before. Besides wanting a theater for my performing arts department and an auxiliary gym for my sports programs on campus, I think I'd really want world peace. Right now, this world needs peace. And and as I said to you, and that seems to be the theme of the day, our first guest this morning said world peace. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. And you have now said world peace. Yeah, in this crazy mixed up world, we need some peace. I can't disagree with you. I mean, I, I could break into another song. Let there be peace on earth, <laughs> and let it begin. With so me. I, I should give you my boa. You can wrap it around and start dancing and singing in the studio. But that is great. But I do think, um, you know, again, uh, we heard theater, auxiliary gym, world peace. Not necessarily in that order, right. but it's it's all about I think um, resources and life for all. Exactly. Yeah. You know? As we head off, Joanne, I appreciate you being here this morning. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. much for having me. We want to make sure we get out one more time. Fall Open House, Thursday, October 20th from 7 to 9. For more information, go to DonovanCatholic.org. Yes, thank you, Phil. That was great. And I, uh, I'm i looking forward to seeing some students shadow somebody at our school. That'd be Come great. Come by Joy. and say hello. Thank you very much for, for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. We greatly appreciate it. Back in a moment.